Most of this information is from Nutrient Power by Dr. Walsh. So I'm going to go over three behavior disorders and Dr. Walsh and Carl Pfeiffer from the mid 70s to the early 1980s took over about 10,000 chemical assays from people with behavior disorders as well as violent criminals. Now these behavior disorders, I have three on the board and I'm going to go over antisocial personality disorder and violent behavior first on the left side of the board. So antisocial um, personality disorders have characteristics that include extreme narcissism. They have good verbal skills, hypersexuality, easily enraged. They have a high threshold for pain and they disregard laws. They're impulsive in their action. They have a fascination with fire. They tend to be cruel to animals. Even as children, these individuals can torture your family pet or, you know, their family pet. Um, they're oppositional and they lie. So these individuals with antisocial personality disorders tend to start lying as early as they can speak. Now what Dr. Walsh and Carl Pfeiffer had found from this behavior group is that these individuals tend to have a zinc deficiency and in many cases a severe zinc deficiency. They also tend to be low to normal in copper. So that's a big distinction between the other two behavior disorders that I'm going to talk about in a minute. They also tend to have toxic metal issues with lead and cadmium. So they have these two toxic metals of lead and calcium buildup in their um, chemical assays. They have a pyrrol disorder. They tend to be under methylated. And if you want to learn more about methylation, you can watch my two videos on epigenetics. And they tend to have imbalances in these minerals, which is chromium, manganese, calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, and cobalt. So this chemical assay is common with these individuals with antisocial personality disorders who ex also exhibit violent behavior. Now on the right side of the board here, I have uh, this behavior disorder as predominantly impulsive hyperactive disorder. Now you're going to find this more with your ADHD uh, individual and they tend to be in constant motion. They have a high distraction rate and they have a very short attention span. So no matter how intelligent these individuals may be, they tend to be underachievers scholastically because they essentially they can't sit still and focus. Now the other group here on the right side of the board is the intermittent explosive disorder. So these individuals with this behavior disorder tend to be extremely well behaved and cooperative for most of the time. But for one reason or another, they enter a sudden rage that can last for 15 to 30 minutes. And at the end of this um, kind of explosive outburst, these individuals tend to show remorse and regret, which is a major contrast for this um, behavior disorder than with the antisocial personality disorder where these individuals, despite their behavior, do not express a sense of remorse. Now both these groups on the far right also exhibit a copper and zinc imbalance. However, the copper levels tend to be high and the zinc levels tend to be low in contrast to the antisocial personality disorder where you have low to normal copper levels as well as a zinc deficiency. Now the people um, who fall into this behavior disorder of intermittent explosive disorder also tend to suffer from high pyrroles. Now the treatment that Dr. Walsh proposes and has had great success with, especially in children who are able to stay compliant to these uh, zinc and copper imbalances is adding zinc as well as glutathione, selenium, cysteine, B6, vitamin C, and vitamin E.